Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create an Azure API app. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and in home either I can type in API app here or if you will click on create a resource you can type in API app here you will see that in the drop down click on it click on create enter a name test sir API app here you got it my subscription is pay as you go and the resource group I'm going to test as an API app RG place it here app service plan I'll go with the basic one here an application insights if I want to enable it I can enable it if I want to disable it I can disable it for this section I can use it disable I can we'll look for the application insights in the coming videos and click on apply click on create wait for this Azure portal to validate your deployment after validating on the top right corner you'll see deployment in progress you'll have to wait till the time deployment is completed we'll just got a notification that the deployment has been succeeded click on go to resource if you will not click on go to resource and let's say you are on the home screen you can click on all resources here and you will see your API app and if you would be let's say in the resource group section you can go to your resource group if you remember the name like I know it or you can have the resource group here will filter out and you will click on that resource group like this and under all resources you will have your service plan in which your API app is present and this is the API app if you will click on it you will go to that page and if you will browse this URL so if you'll see the web app the API app the logic app your uh, mobile app ends with the Azure websites.net so you can click on it you will browse it and it will go to the default page that has been given to you by the Microsoft and uh, it says have your code ready use deployment center to get code published from your client or set up continuous deployment so if you will go on this deployment center on this page or from your uh, Azure portal page let's see I'll, I'll show you where you will go when you will click on the deployment center from here this is just a brief I'm not gonna tell you the details of the deployment center here so it'll, it will come to this same page if you are here you click on deployment center here you'll get the same thing you click here so it says source control which source control are you using your uh, build provider and then you can configure it so let's say you want to deploy it using github you want I've already connected my account to my Azure by using Azure repositories you're using a local kit version or if you have your code on some external versioning control or you want to deploy it through Dropbox OneDrive I've attached my OneDrive as well that is how you create it. and if you would see the basic configuration settings if you remember we we changed the settings under the mobile section because in new portal you don't have directly the mobile app uh, creation process like you can search for the mobile app and then create it you have to enter the application settings if you have if you want to configure some default settings here you can enter the new application settings here in this mobile app section and you can enable the backups as well so we'll cover these things in detail uh, in the coming videos so i hope you liked this session i'll see you in the next video thank you have a great day